Good evening. Thank you for joining me again on The Mighty Dragon. And with me today, I am honoured to have the actress Jonah Zhao with me. Hello, Jonah. Hello. How are you, Victoria? Very well, thank you. Very well. It's morning where you are today, so yeah. nearly the weekend. Uh, <laughs> do you have much plans going on this weekend, or is there much you can do? Oh, um... You know, not many plans currently. Um, I just actually got back to LA uh, last night. So uh, yeah. I'll be chilling a little. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Um, I have a few questions for you. We know that you were in Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, and I have a few questions for you about that. But I just want to rewind a little bit about your back history as well. So how you got into acting. So as I understand it, you were born in Hunan in China and your family moved to St. Louis. And what was that experience like for you? And did that have much impact on your acting? Yes, so we, um, good research. So I was born in Hunan. Um, and then when I was really young, we moved to upstate New York. Um, and then from upstate New York, we moved to St. Louis. And St. Louis, yeah, it was interesting because um, in my, I, that's where I consider my hometown. Um, there was maybe five Asians in our graduating class of like 500 people. So there was very, um, yeah, very few Asians, not a lot of diversity. And so I think growing up, I felt very like other. Um, and so that was something where I really struggled to fit in. Um, like I remember my mom would dress me in very like colorful Asian like garments. And then I would hear girls at school like making fun of what I was wearing. Gosh. And I remember and I still remember like going to the mall when I was in like middle school and I never like spent so much on a shirt before, but I was like, I'm going to get an Abercrombie and Fitch shirt <laughs> to like be cool because that's what the cool people wore, you know? Um, <laughs> so I think, you know, with acting, um, what's wonderful about it is I think I really started to embrace the quirks that I had, because we're all quirky, we're all weird, right? So I think acting gave me an outlet to be fun and quirky and out there and be more fully myself, because okay. I felt so, um, uh, yeah, like in terms of interactions with other students, I just like desperately wanted to fit in. And so it, acting was an amazing outlet for me. Okay. And when you stepped into your career, uh, what type of characters so it's like, I really want to do that character. You know, I really want to play that character. What was that for you? Or what is that for you? Yeah, good, uh, good question. So I I think I've always wanted to play Mulan. <laughs> oh, like, wow. Right. And, you know, uh, Raya is a very, in terms of that character, sh there are some similarities, which is cool to be part of Raya and the Last Dragon. Yeah. So that's been something that's been... Um, really powerful for me because Mulan was such an inspiration for me growing up in uh, Raya as well as some of the other projects Hightown and among others I've been playing roles that like sh seem like she's sweet on the outside and then there's like this hard edge and the, there's this darker past and darker history um, that the character has to overcome so that's been like a, a pretty steady through line in like a lot of my right. characters which is oh. fun Interesting. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about characters and when you've played them, have you learned anything new about yourself while playing these characters? Sorry, these are very deep questions for a Friday no, and it's evening no. here. So, <laughs> oh, I, I um, Yeah, I think so for me, one of the reasons I am really drawn to acting and why um, it's so important to me is because right now I think we live in a very divided world um, of a lot of us versus them. And I think film and TV and the arts have the ability to really bring people together, show someone a different perspective and increase like empathy. So for me, I think there's, I've just learned so much about the world, how different people think um, so that uh, I'm less judgmental <laughs> as a person, because as an actor, we're tasked with really stepping into this character's shoes. To the outside world, you know, this character might be considered bad or doing bad things, but like you really have to justify the why behind it. So I think for me, it's caused me to be more empathetic and to really, um, I'm better at stepping into other people's shoes now as a result of being an actor. 
Okay, that's very interesting. Um, I just wanted to go back uh, slightly to Raya and the Last Dragon. Can you tell us something about the movie? Yes, so basically, um, it's about a divided world. <laughs> um, I think it's very relevant to today's world. And um, the dragons, uh, who used to protect the world from these dark creatures called the Druun, you know, the dragons uh, risked their own lives and were slain like centuries yes. ago. Um, and so now what's happened is uh, Raya and her team are trying to gather the last pieces of the dragon gem because they're scattered all across the land. So they have to work together, travel across the world and put these gem pieces together to save the world. So it's a story about coming together, overcoming differences, trust that uh, it's really important to learn to trust one another. So. Okay, that's really interesting. I know my daughter's going to love this movie. She loves yeah. dragons and she loves princesses. So this is oh, going to be perfect for her. I, yeah, I, would, I would try and drop you a note to let you know how much she loved it. Oh. <laughs> and she also loves Mulan too. So she's got, the, oh, God, she's got like, Disney, Disney, <laughs> Disney clothes in that one. So um, with this, we're, we're with an animated film, how mm. more challenging it is it for an actor to do an animated character? Is it more challenging or is it more easier? Good question. Um, I think it has, it's different. I personally think it's easier overall. Right. When I do on camera, I, um, I have to be more aware of like how my face is moving, my body. Um, now the flip side is in animation, you can't, you don't see those things. Um, so that you can only communicate through the voice. So there's um, a lot that you need to, I think there's more that you have to communicate because they can't yes. see your physical characteristics. Um, but the animation um, is like gorgeous and Ryan, they do such a great job of that. Uh, so I think for me, like there are times where in uh, Raya, you'll see me doing some fight. My character is fighting. Yes. Um, and uh, you know, like in terms of the, uh, like, uh, like, yeah. I, I, like all the things I'll, I'll use like, just, like the mic stand or I'll, I'll start like you like really fully using my body to um, make different noises and really yeah like, yeah you know, like, oh, oh, you know? Like, <laughs> so something that I wouldn't really be able to do in live action in terms of how I'm communicating those yes I never thought of that actually the fight scenes that must be actually <laughs> quite fun. To <laughs> oh my gosh so with um this movie obviously we have a very strong female lead in it and and heroine and things like Mulan as well will we see more of this now do you think I think so I think that um there more and more I'm seeing female heroines um in these leading roles uh you know, like there was the Lara Croft, you know, there was, so there's, I think that is here to stay. So I'm mm. about that because um, I think it gives uh, little girls and, you know, women all over like a, a different type of person to look up to instead of the typical yeah. like masculine figure. Absolutely. And I think it's so important, isn't it, to have these women out the front there and proving their worth and you know it's great um I just wanted to ask you as well um will you be returning to the animation genre it's, it's hugely popular 270 billion US dollars it's like what <laughs> I would love to yes yes uh, Disney Pixar <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> Mr Disney <laughs> um I'm actually in what can I say? Uh, this summer, um, there's a popular franchise um, that I'm a part of, and it's um, animation. So that's okay, kind of, uh, so you will be back in animation. That's great. Mm -hmm. So you'll get great. to hear your voice um, in a, a different type of like badass female character role this summer. And in animation, I guess you can explore so much more with a character that you can't physically do on screen, can't you? Especially in this sort of genre, can just explore that character more, can't you? I, I think what's great about animation, yeah, is the worlds that you can build, you know? Um, yeah. It's different than if you had to, sh to film it in real life, right? So I think the creativity of, like, the just the world, the characters, what they look like, creatures, like in Ryan the Last Dragon, oh, where is it? Um, there's a the, the armadillo looking um, 
creature who's like one of Raya's good friends and companions named Tuk Tuk. Um, and it's just so freaking cute. <laughs> and I think it will be a very popular um, like toy among kids, like in terms yes. of like toys they've created for Tuk Tuk and everything. Is this as cute as Baby Yoda? Is it? Is it possible? Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> I think they're comparable. I mean, that's a good one. Baby Yoda. <laughs> adorable. So, you know, that's something that's um, like all these different creatures in the animation world, you know, you can bring forth. Yes. Wonderful. Really cool. mm-hmm. And going um, to your next project, it is called Mercy, a short film. Can you tell us something about that, please? Yes. So Mercy is a very um, dark, thought-provoking uh, film that I did opposite Harry Shum Jr. Um, and it's about a couple, me and Harry's characters, who have a really dark past um, and are trying to overcome. There's like uh, one topic that's discussed is rape. Um, so it's, oh, it's very, um, there's a lot of like really dark issues being explored. So I think it's going to give a, uh, I don't, without giving away, I think it's going to show the world and teach the world some of the nuances around some really tough subjects okay um, so what, when is mercy out for us to see good question i'm not sure to be determined so okay i will try and link it down below if i can yes. so i will definitely be catching up on that uh, yes. what's the most interesting question i have to ask you which probably everyone asks you is about this 300 pounds piggyback <laughs> I didn't know anything you've got going on here. You can you can piggyback someone at three hundred pounds. Uh, three hundred and thirty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Victoria, three thirty. <laughs> this is real inner strength here, isn't it? I mean, wow. I have freakishly strong quads. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like uh, one of my long-term boyfriends uh one of our first dates he looked at my like legs and he was like and I was standing in the kitchen he was, he was like oh thunder thighs I'm like he's like no no it's a good thing I'm like <laughs> but now I am proud of my powerful thighs absolutely so, yeah so I used to like help raise money for charity and everything yes. like like giving people piggyback rides because I would bet them. I'm like, hey, if I can give anyone in your group a piggyback ride uh, and walk with you on like uh, on me, um, will you donate like ten bucks or will you donate like five, ten, etc.? So I would bet people, and I never lost. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I couldn't believe it when I read that. I must ask you about this. That's so funny. <laughs> the, yeah. um, also, you you touched slightly on another film, but what else does 2021 hold for you? Sure, sure. Um, a few things. So I just wrapped a popular action TV show that's going to, um, you'll get to see me in that come this May, potentially on my birthday, May 18th, I think is actually when it's scheduled to, or you'll be able to see me. So that's kind of special. Yeah, very special. Yeah. And then um, I was really grateful to be part of an amazing crime drama called Hightown. So I'm in several episodes uh, of season two, which comes out in the fall of this year. So it's, Hightown is a very dark crime drama, lots of mystery, lots of twists, turns. um, And it's, a show where there's no character that's like a bad, like, it's not like, oh, this is a bad character. This is a good character. All the characters, including my own, um, are very complex. You know, like they, you see the situations they're in. And like for my character, Daisy, she often ends up between a rock and a hard place and has to make some really tough choices. Um, So I think I, I love the complexity of all the characters on the show. So a very exciting year ahead for you. Yes. I would say. (laughs) With Raya and the Last Dragon um, on Disney Plus. And I cannot wait to see that. I will play that for my daughter this weekend. So we have Disney Plus, obviously, downstairs. So yes, yes, she will love it. I just wanted to wish you all the best with that and everything else you have planned this year. And thank you so much for joining me on The Mighty Dragon. Thank you so much, Victoria. I appreciate the research you did and great questions. That was fun. No problem at all. Thank you so much, Jonah, and speak to you another time. That sounds great. Thanks, Victoria. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you to Jonah Joe for her time and see you soon on The Mighty Dragon.